Princeton has been challenging itself to really push how we do integrative design at the university. So we want to look at the building as a whole, almost as an organism, and optimize it in relationship to all of its moving parts. Sustainability shouldn't be an add-on. It should be integrated throughout the entire thought process of design of buildings and everything we do, really. And I think that's what our sustainability plan is striving for. So at a very simple level, we have a series of metrics revolving around water, energy, stormwater, waste, transportation that we take into account in everything we do. But then all of those impact indicators are bracketed by this notion of um, really supporting a sustainability ethos. So what is it that we can do that doesn't just do everything behind the scenes on a technology standpoint, but really start to engage the users on how to be more responsible in the spaces. Uh, we have to start exploring what opportunities there are out there relative to, to behavior. I use the analogy of the difference between energy efficiency and energy conservation. Energy efficiency is building a better elevator. Energy conservation is in encouraging people to use the stairs. Yeah, so right at its core, the residential college is seeking to give the students access across the entire collection of buildings in poor weather without having to go outside. But in good weather, they can traverse these beautiful landscaped courtyards that will have different qualities of spaces inside and out for them. So that's one component of bringing the natural environment to the building. Yeah, and I would add to that, one of the things we're focused on is increasing the community culture. When doing that, we were able to also add the benefit of improving natural ventilation by having the operable windows aided in the fact that we're going to be able to naturally uh, move airflow from the occupied spaces through the building because it's more of a community as opposed to isolated dorm rooms. And then the more nitty gritty of what we're doing, um, the building is located across the street from our plant. And so we're taking advantage of um, excess of water that's being blown down in our cooling towers and piping it across the street and using it to flush toilets. So we are using non-potable water um, in a way that is beneficial and will save a couple million gallons of domestic water a year in the building. The Office of Sustainability is also really good at pushing us to how do we learn from what we're doing in a way that's not just scalable and repeatable across our projects, but how that knowledge can be leveraged with our peers as well. Well, we're, we're moving towards carbon neutrality. I mean, uh, if we continue on the path that we were on, and I say we as a, a, a larger we, the industry, um, we're going to quickly pass the point of no return relative to carbon consumption. Um, so we can't continue to use that mentality. We can't continue to use the same thought process that got us into this mess. Sustainability shouldn't be something in isolation. It needs to be in the ethos and the thinking of everything we're doing.